Let's suppose that we have a two-year bullet bond that was initially sold with an interest rate of 5% and has a face value of $1,000. This means that in two years, we will receive one cash flow of $1,000. So on this timeline, we'll receive $1,000 after two years. Let's find out what, we're, what we should be willing to pay for this bond. So the interest rate on this bond is 5%, but importantly, it's quoted on a APR basis with six-month compounding periods. Six-month compounding periods mean that there are two periods per year. So the APR of 5% with six-month compounding periods actually means that every six-month period, the interest rate is actually 2.5%. So in our timeline, every six month period has an interest rate of 2.5%. So in order to discount appropriately this $1,000 cash flow, which will be the price of the bond, what we do is we say the price of the bond is the discounted cash flow which is $1,000 that we receive in two years, but two years is actually four six-month periods. So we divide this by one plus 0 0.025, which is that six-month um, interest rate, and raised to the fourth because there are four six-month periods in two years. And what we'd find out is that the price of this pond is $905.95. Sometimes you'll see this written as this 5% or 0 0.05 divided by 2. That 2 comes from the fact that this is quoted on a 6-month basis and there are two 6-month periods per year.